Hi everybody and welcome to Paper Wishes Vlog. I'm Lene Gehrig and today I've got two cutting die sets from Hot Off the Press. These are the fabulous folded cards cutting die collection. This first one is the mini envelope and gift card holder. And this one is the four fold folder cutting die. So I'm gonna show you what these look like. First of all is the mini envelope. I'll just leave this here. This is, comes two separate dies and they make the most adorable little pockets and envelopes. And here is one that I put on the card because they're just so cute. You wanna like display them a little bit. So I just took this particular mini envelope and I just made it into a little pocket here. Um, this particular card is using a Country Blooms paper pack. Um, it has wonderful wood and all these great flowers. I also added from 49 and Market, these are tangerine, which pairs perfectly with this paper pack, uh, Country Bloom flowers. And let's see what else, here we go. We've also got, these are Twilight Pixie Petals and they're just a nice little lavender color. I like these flowers because they lay nice and flat and these have no problem being mailed. Um, you'll notice here I have a little piece of purple ribbon and with that I just actually stapled that along the top edge there. So very sweet little card. And then I've also used that same pocket for this little pocket here on the outside of the card little triangle pocket, really very easy to use. And so you've got the little pocket here. Now you could put a little small gift of jewelry in here, or you could put a gift card or some cold hard cash. So you just open that right up and very easy. And then I just made this little closure here by taking a little bit of cardstock, cutting it into, oh, it's about an inch wide. So what I used for this was the six by six papers in lilacs and blooms. So I also used a five inch card and we have these at Hot Off the Press, um, excuse me, at Paper Wishes, where you can get them already cut down to five by five and they have the matching envelope. And then I just took a little bit of the lilacs and bloom coordinating cardstock and I just cut a little bit of a mat there, a little bit smaller than the card, so that's probably about four and three quarters. And then I cut a little bit of the beautiful lilac paper down to about, oh, that's probably four and a half inches. And then I cut another one in four and a half inches and then cut a triangle. So this was really nice to have my paper cutter with since I just took another square of this. I loved the little um, motif there in the corner and I wanted to keep that. And so I just placed this square piece on my uh, cutting platform and I just zip, zip that down there and I got a really nice triangle. And I just glued that right over this paper, um, just on those two sides. I also used some fancy border dazzles. There's some beautiful white ones in here. And I just added that right across that raw edge there. It just felt like it needed to be, have a little decorative edge. And then we've got Right here, this is actually, there are cutouts in here, but they're rather small. So I actually bought, uh, grabbed the coordinating um, die cuts that come with this set, and I just foam taped that right there. And then just a little bit of purple ribbon, and this is the 1 8 inch ribbon set, and that was just the perfect color to put right there. So I also used one of those fancy borders right here on my little, in my little closure. So let me show you how that particular pocket, and I'll show the other one in a moment. So I just like to use the um, Cosmic Shimmer Specialist Acrylic Glue. And you're just gonna fold those flaps in just like this. Just fold right along the score lines. A bone folder is even nicer. Just use your fingernail like I am. All right, and then you wanna make sure when you're gonna add some glue to those flaps, one thing I've noticed is, is when I, I tend to add glue, I tend to add the glue all the way over the flap, but then when I put the, the bottom flap up, I have some glue up here, and that could make my envelope flap, top flap stick. So just be aware um, of how wide this flap is here. You could just also just add it right here and then we wanna just close those flaps 
hold that down for just a moment. And then you want to make sure, of course, that that's not glued shut in there. And then it's got this handy little slit that you can secure your flap in, just like that. Perfect size for a gift card, or as I said, a little cash. Um, so that was easy. So let me also show you the other style here, this pocket right here. Um, this I used slim line cards, which is a three and a half inch by eight and a half inch card. And the paper pack I used is the new from Hot Off the Press, and this is Blue Persuasion, it's just gorgeous. And I also used a little bit of the coordinating cardstock to go with that. So I covered my whole card with this wonderful navy blue swirly paper. I just took a couple of strips of floral blue paper, put them at the top and the bottom. Notice I left a little bit of that navy blue peeking out of that. And then I also used these really beautiful engraved dazzle stickers. And these are called Hearts and Flower Engraved Ga dazzle, excuse me, they're not dazzles, they're engraved stickers. Okay, and there's all kinds of beautiful little images on here. There's hearts. And so I use those cute little bird cages. They come in gold and silver. And I just added that I lengthened the chain because it gave you a little bit of extra sticker for chain and just put that right there. Didn't even need to back it or anything. And then just added a little bit of cardstock to the back of the birds there. Used a little bit of foam tape here for my little cutout greeting that's in the paper pack. And then just stuck a little sticker right there. On the inside, we've got our little pocket right here. I also added one of the stickers right here. So let me show you how this one works. It's got this nice elongated back. So you have a nice backing for, for your gift card. So for this one, once again, just going to fold along those score lines. And with this one, you can just go ahead and put glue right on those flaps. Fold that right up. Hold that for a moment. And you've got this adorable little pocket. You could also just punch right there with a little one eighth inch hole punch, add a little bit of ribbon. How cute would these be to put on a Christmas tree with little gift cards for family and friends? Um, you could also score right here and fold this flap down and then you would have an even smaller little envelope. So that's adorable too. All right, now I wanted to also show you, this is the four folder, four fold folder cutting die. And with this one, it actually comes with multiple pieces here. And I think before I get into untying this, I'm gonna show you how this one is put together. So you've got your main piece right here. This is your flap. And then this is the extension. So you could just take this and you could have this be your little book. You could even make it into a cute little card like that, or you can add on the extension. So I'm going to go ahead and fold this. Now there's like a little gusset here. So there's two areas to fold on each score line. And that's to provide this little gusseted area right there. Same at the top. All right, so now I'm going to take this one, this next piece. This is the addition. I'm gonna fold that as well. And then we're going to just take a little bit of glue. I'm gonna put that on the flap. Now, you can take your flap and you could glue that on the inside or the outside. It really just depends on if you're gonna cover the outside with paper or the inside, and I'll show you that. So, I'm just going to use it on the outside for now. Assuming that I'm going to cover all these wonderful surfaces with paper. All right, then you've got this wonderful little piece right here. And this makes a little pocket 
or the folder part. I've cut out two. You can cut out one, two, three, and even put them on the back. You can cut out as many as you want. So we're going to fold these little flaps as well. And I love that this one just has all these variations that you can do with it. It's a really a nice tool. So you can take this one and put glue directly on the flaps. These flaps you can glue inside like this so that they won't show when they've been wrapped around. They've got a nice little folder pocket there. And this one we're going to put horizontally. And we can put it here and we can put another one at the bottom. It doesn't make any difference. So I'm just going to put it right here on the other side of the lowest fold line. There we go. So I have another pocket. Oops, that came up. <laughs> there, I have another pocket. Okay, so then you would just fold this up like this and then you could secure it a couple of different ways. So let's open this up. And here's one I made using this is Butterfly Meadow 12 by 12 paper pack. I also added a little four inch doily to the top. And then this little cutout is actually in the paper pack. There's some wonderful little sheets of cutouts and things like that. That's right there. I've got a little hello there. That's from Tiny Words and Phrases Dazzle Stickers. And there's a whole set in here with a whole bunch of different colors of surfaces there. And then I also added some, this is sea glass, and I added the twilight, where are they, here we go, pixie petals as well to this. Oh, and then my ribbon closure is from, this is teal and aqua ribbon set. So we're just gonna open that up. And I cut everything out of black cardstock. So mine is going vertically. And it's got cute little tags and stickers there, so it's very interactive. All the way down. And then you can also add things here. Added lots to look at. Debbie made this really adorable one, just another variation. She used um, gingham 12 by, excuse me, gingham six by six. This is gingham number two. It's all pastel and so sweet. And then she also used the 12 by 12 gingham cardstock that goes along with this. And she used these wonderful little um, stickers. This one is called Motifs Engraved Stickers. And she used all these great little um, motif diamonds in, in silver. And then these great little vellum die cuts from Rosie Studio. This one is Thrive and Shine, and this one is Take Flight. And this is the one that Debbie used for this particular um, project. But, you know, this one would be awesome with actually the gingham number one set, which is a little more jewel colors. So she made her closure by just cutting, it's about a 3 8 inch wide strip of cardstock. She's got a little motif there, sticker. She backed those on white cardstock. And then she embellished those with a little teal jewel dazzle sticker right there. And then she's got these great little fancy borders. Use those fancy border stickers again. And also the little just a note using the uh, tiny words and phrases, phrases dazzles in silver. So look at that, there's one of those little vellum stickers. So cute. Look at that, and then we added the pocket in here as well. So she's got these cute little tags, and then there's this adorable little pocket, which I think accidentally got glued shut a little bit. There we go, that little vellum sticker when that got glued on. So cute to put a little treasure in there. Just keep going down. Isn't that adorable? Now I should also mention that this particular uh, four folder can be actually turned this way too. So you can just open it up in any direction you'd like. Really, really cute. See how she cut these 
sweet little medallions. Just cut that in four pieces and use those for corners. So cute. You guys, we've got a great money saver on both of these cutting dies. So if um, you're watching us on our vlog page, just look over to the right and you'll see our money saver. And you just click on that and it'll take you to a great deal on both of the cutting dies. If you're watching us on YouTube, look below the video in the description box. You'll find a link to the Money Saver Bundle as well as a link to paperwishes.com where we've got lots of videos and lots of fun things to play with. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.